All right, this is a new set of uh, vision or magnifiers, head head worn magnifiers that I got, and uh, it's rated number one uh, by this one uh, guy who went through all these uh, different magnifiers. It's similar to the one I've got now. I'll show you what I got. I've got this one. It's got a light on the bot top and everything. And uh, you can switch on the uh, little lamp on the top. I don't use that too often because it's, it, well, it just, I don't use it that often. Now, these are really good, uh, but they have one feature this one has that uh, this one here has one feature that this one doesn't have. And I'm going to show you what that is in a second here. Get that out of the way. I don't do box openings. But I'm going to try this one. A set of uh, lenses. I'm going to set those aside. And... Uh, Take this out. As you can see, it's basically the same item that I have already. And I'll have to read the instructions, but uh, anyway, the lenses, uh, there's five, I think five of them. It's getting cold and windy outside, and it looks like it might storm later. Ah, it comes with a cleaning cloth. So all I need is another cleaning cloth. It, it comes with four lenses, a real heavy-duty one. I'll have to experiment and see which one's the best one for what I do. And uh, I'll come back and tell you what I feel like on it. I ordered this on Amazon. It only took a couple of days to get it here. Of course, I think I've got Amazon Prime now here. I've got some one uh, magnifiers that I've been using that doesn't have a real big field of view. And when you're working on a sculpture, you got to have a big field of view. And that's one reason why I got these, is because they got a huge view. As you can see, I can actually fit it on my hat. Uh, which makes it really nice, because I don't have plastic on my uh, forehead. When you get as old as I am, you start getting more sensitive to plastics against your skin. And so... Uh, this works out really nice. I still got to figure out how to detach this light, but that's not an important thing right now. Uh, I can sit back comfortably, a good foot, maybe a foot and a half from my clay, and I can see clearly, much clearer, actually much clearer than I can with my regular glasses. So it helps boost my reading glasses, which I use uh, to sculpt with. All right, yes, uh, one more time on the Carson Pro Magnifier Deluxe uh, E CP60 uh, magnifier headset. <laughs> well, that's a mouthful, isn't it? I figured, finally figured out how to take the uh, light off the top. All you got to do is lift it up out of the uh, little socket, and you can. It's got a magnetic mount so that it'll actually. Uh, magnetically attached to something and then you got a, a light that you can set at any angle uh, if you got a piece of metal like a, a lamp above your workstation you can put this uh, lamp uh, above yourself but I, I don't know why you do that if you got a lamp already but it gives you a different angle for for light it gives you a different angle for lighting which I find really fascinating um, I'm extremely happy with this uh, 
magnifier much more than I am with the other ones that I've had in the past. Uh, this one seems to be a lot more useful. Some come with, uh, some magnifiers come with a, a little extra little drop down round magnifier, but I just don't see any reason for it because of what I do. It's just not something I need. Anyway, just thought I'd finish off this review of the uh, magnifiers and uh, let me flip down the uh, lens. This is the lowest power lens, by the way, that I was using on this. And uh, it really worked out well with my reading glasses. And if I took my reading glasses off, that'd be fine. But then I wouldn't be able to see anything when I got to see far distance. So uh, this one works really well for me. All right, let's get on to sculpting. Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm not going to have much time to work today. I, again, most of the day was taken up doing other things. I've got an order for a uh, DVDs going to London, England, and uh, I was busy getting that ready to go. And uh, so it's just, there are other things that go on in my life other than just sculpting. <laughs> and uh, sometimes they need to be taken care of as well. Okay, I'm gonna put my reference up, change it. This one's going to be the back end of the horse. And uh, so, uh, this, let's put it on this one. The nice thing about these magnifiers, I can see it all the way back here to the drawing. Not completely clear, but I can see it well enough to see the uh, muscle structure that I'm trying to get. All right, I'm going to get started here in about one second. All right, to work on this, uh, the butt end of the horse, I'm going to have to tilt him up a little bit. And so that's going to mean I may have to take out my supports I've got. And uh, shift the support so that I got the uh, horse more in a position that I can work with. I'll take care of the holes that I'm making in the bottom of the horse uh, in his belly later on. But right now, this helps me to see the uh, back end better. And, uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just start shaping the back of the horse. And then I'll sketch in the uh, muscles after I do that. These new glasses help a lot. They're a lot better than the ones I had before. I got my references uh, of my photographs of actual horses 
and their legs in similar positions as the one I'm working on. And uh, I'm going by that. Now, as you saw in the photographs, there's very little detail in the, the muscles. Oh, there's a lot more detail in this muscle, on this horse. So it's a kind of a combining different photographs and coming up with a final for yourself. So coming down here. I think I better sketch this in with my pencil. Now I got a picture of a horse with his leg uh, stretched back like this. And it shows me how the muscles react to that movement. But I got a sketch in the muscles. And I'm going to do it from... This anatomy drawing instead of that 3D uh, figure, uh, only because its muscles don't actually match the muscles in the actual anatomy. Let me get the picture and I'll show you. You can see it does, doesn't quite match. It's pretty close though. And he may be going into more definition of each set of muscles. But anyway, I'll keep keep that one handy and the anatomy one handy and work from both of them. If you got the anatomy sitting next to you while you're looking at an actual photograph of a horse in a similar, somewhat similar position, you can really 
see the muscles and uh, get them a little more accurately. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. All right, have a great rest of the weekend, and I'll see you next, next week sometime. Good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.